three, two, one. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello, JNX Gaming and I are here today bringing you this school lunch tier list. So, we will be ranking all the types of school lunch. So, the first one we have here is <laughs> uncooked pasta. Now, Jacob, you want to do an introduction for this uncooked pasta? Yeah, uh, it's very common to see pasta that is not fully cooked at schools because they are cooked in large amounts. This personally, though, is one of my favorites, so I'll, I would put it at an A tier. You would put the uncooked pasta no, I'm kidding, in an A tier? I'm kidding, I'm not. So, uh, what would you put it at? I want to hear you first. Well... Personally, I think uncooked pasta, it really depends on how uncooked it is because sometimes you can get almost cooked pasta and that's a solid B tier, but like if it's really bad, then it's a C tier. But most of the time, I would say it's more like sort of cooked pasta that's almost cooked, but not exactly there. So I'd have to go with B tier. I'm going to agree with you on that. Let's, we have to shrink the picture to put it here <laughs> all right next is... so next we have leftover pizza <laughs> now sometimes in school you know it's a friday they have leftover food from the week and you know they want to be nice to you so they give you pizza but they don't really know what to put on it so they just put the leftovers that they have from earlier in a week now personally I'm a big fan of leftover pizza. I think in this in this picture, as you can see, uh, it's sushi on the pizza. I'm not a personally a big fan of that, but usually it's uh, meat, some sort of meat from earlier, you know, taco meat from Taco Tuesday. So I'd have to, I'd probably put this one at maybe an A tier. What do you have to say? I'm gonna agree. There's just, just occasionally, sometimes they put some weird meat with some odd white sauce that I don't really like. But that's just, that's just, that's just sometimes. All right, <laughs> <laughs> this gets an A tier. Leftover pizza. Next we have mystery meat. Uh, mystery meat. Jacob, do you want to do an introduction for mystery meat? Uh, yeah, there's just like, sometimes they just have meat and you really can't tell what it is. It happens actually quite frequently. Uh, I usually, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of this, but I eat it anyway. So it's kind of like in the middle for me. I personally think, uh, I'm not a big fan of mystery meat either. I think it would be a lot nicer if they could just tell you what it is. <laughs> Usually it's some some cold cut that's uh okay. Usually it's some mediocre cold cut, you know. If it was maybe a little bit better if they got it from a better source then it would be higher on the list, but honestly, I'm going to have to give this one a C tier. What do you say? I'm going to agree. C tier for mystery meat. Let's readjust these. These are adjusted pretty well actually. All right. Next up, personal favorite of mine, Taco Tuesday. They like the alliteration. They think it's cool. They don't know what to make on a Tuesday. <laughs> so, of course, they give you tacos. Um, I personally am a fan of Taco Tuesday. Sometimes the tacos are a bit messy, but usually this is a highlight of the week when they have Taco Tuesday because they've been making tacos for such a long time. They're pretty good. They're pretty good. What would you have to say? I think they're pretty good too. It's just I had one bad experience with it where like all of the meat I got was like in a block and it was just stuck together. It was pretty gross. But I've, every other time it was pretty good. Well, due to that story, I would say this is probably <laughs> I, this is either A or S. I'd put it at A. A tier? Yeah. All right, A tier for Taco Tuesday. Next we have <laughs> Next we have uh holiday lunch. Now, it's a holiday. Soon it's a holiday. Maybe it's maybe it's November and it's going to be Thanksgiving soon. Maybe it's December and it's going to be Christmas. Either way, the school wants to raise your morale with this 
not so delicious holiday lunch. Do you wanna? Uh, I just gave an introduction for it. Never mind. <laughs> I would. What do you think of this one? I'm never a fan of their holiday food, to be honest. Uh, I would put it at a D. What do you think? There is no D tier. Oh, F, whatever it is. Or C. I don't know. C or F. Personally, I think the holiday lunch is about as bad as it gets for school lunch. Uh, well, almost as bad as it gets. There's there's a few items later on that will make me probably want to put this at C tier, but it, it, it is not good. You have them thinking that they're so great and mm. they don't need to try at all. Just because they have the the holiday lunch, they can say it's Thanksgiving turkey. I'm going to have to agree with C tier on this one. I'm not a fan. Nasty. Alright, so next we have the spicy lunch. Do you want to explain this one? Yeah, this is basically where, you know, they're too lazy to put any seasoning, so they just make it like, they put their special spicy sauce on it just to make it spicy. And I actually don't mind this one. I'm not I am a big fan of this one. My favorite lunch that they had our school this year was just the spicy lunch. <laughs> it was this sandwich with some ridiculously spicy sauce. Oh, it was good. It was good. And honestly, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, what are you thinking? What tier? It has to be one of the higher ones. because I'm thinking S tier. Oh, okay. I didn't have the sandwich, so I can't really... I'm thinking S tier for spicy lunch. Yeah. It was a roast beef sandwich. It was pretty good. Yeah, the stuff in their hotline that was just spicy was actually pretty good too. Next, we go from probably oh, one of the highest on this list to probably one of the lowest. <laughs> this is bad cultural lunch. They try to make something to acknowledge people of different cultures. It, it doesn't go too well. Yeah. It never goes too well. Maybe it's some holiday that three people in the school celebrate and they really want to capitalize off of it they really want to make it seem like they understand when the people of that culture they don't even care about the lunch <laughs> it's not even good it's more of an insult to them than it is to your taste buds but uh what do you think of this cultural lunch this is this is my least favorite by far by far i'd by have far. to agree i'd have to agree this is just i mean it is awful, this cultural lunch. Not a fan. All right, next we have the healthy option. Do you want to explain the healthy option? <laughs> sure, this is, just, this is just when schools want you to think they're healthy, so they just put, like, lettuce somewhere. <laughs> Nobody gets it, but you can just see that there's lettuce. This is S tier, though, to be honest. No, I'm just kidding. It's a, uh, I'd put it at a B tier, I guess, because I wouldn't really... I'd have to agree with B tier. Not really offensive. Kind of like the uncooked pasta, you know, not great, but it's it's decent enough, the healthy lunch. Uh, you can explain this one because I really want to explain the next one. This is mush. I, I'm not really, I don't, whenever I've seen mush at the cafeteria, I just skip it. But I'm pretty sure it's just like a mix of a bunch of foods, like just mushed together. Or I think it includes like some mystery meat or no meat at all, I'm not even sure. It's pretty gross, though, to be honest. Yeah, they uh, they made it a little bit too watery. Yeah. They deviated from the recipe a little bit too much. Probably F tier. Yeah. But I don't want to put it on the same level as the cultural lunch. Yeah, they're not. They're definitely not. So, F tier or C tier? Hmm. I'd put it on C tier, because... C tier, all right. Finally... We got booger salad. <laughs> the lunch lady is a little bit uh, too cavalier with her sneezing attitude. And uh, you get your lunch and, uh, well, there's a little sneeze that comes with it. There's a sneeze or a cough. You know, you might find some hairs in the lunch. They tried. They, they were happily giving it to you. But, uh, yeah, there it's a little bit gross. You find a hair in it or you find... A booger. You find some, like, sneeze fluid. I don't know. I'd have to give this one F tier. I'm a, yeah, I'm going to agree on that. Maybe F tier. I just don't like finding a hair in my food. It is not good. All right, so uh, that is the tier list. Pretty balanced tier list, I would say. Yeah, this is pretty, pretty good. Pretty balanced. 
it's not super C or F heavy. There's one in S tier even. The spicy lunch. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching our tier list.